everybody, welcome back. Hope you all are doing great. I'm doing okay. Um, if you're new here, my name is Christy and I am a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Facebook Marketplace, anywhere where I can sell my goods. Um, today is a weekly um, free stuff update. This is all the stuff that I've got throughout the week that I was able to pick up for free, either curbside, dumpster, off Facebook Marketplace, wherever I can find it, middle of the road, I'll look at my last video. So without further ado, here is what I got for the week. So I did two Facebook Marketplace pickups and then I found some things in the dumpsters on my route. So this bag here is was a Facebook Marketplace pickup. Um, I don't know if it was very good. Um, in the in the ad, she just said it was women's extra large, large clothing. Um, she did not mention it was maternity clothing. So everything in here is from, I mean, I haven't been pregnant for 10 years, so I have no idea what brands for maternity are right now. So this one's called Bell, Belly Mom. Right there. And just like a striped... Shirt, I think it's supposed to be kind of like a uh, like a nursing shirt, but yeah, there's that. And then there's another. Um, it's an H and M H and M Mama, just like a off white nursing shirt. And here is a zero to nine maternity shirt and this is just a big floral dress by who is it by I think it's in, oh it's called a uh, yeah get this right Christy Elogus I think that's how you pronounce it but yeah it's just a Really nice, big, flowy floral dress. And then here is another shirt by Belly Mom. It's just another one of those nursing shirts. It's inside out. And then from the same lady, this is the second one. She had multiple, there, I mean, I already took out all the crap and stuff, but there was no way that I could sell. These are all things that I'm thinking are a possibility. Um, this one is from JKLA, Jackla, or JKLA, California, I'm not sure. Just a nice polka dot skirt. And this is just a dance um, hoodie with like pockets in the front. It's got a hood. So even if I can't sell that, I'll keep that for myself. Here's just a pair of pajamas from a place called Adada. Yeah. Man, my life's in So just some heart pajamas. So I mean, those might sell for like $5 here with Valentine's coming up. Here's another pair of pajamas with hearts on it. From just secret treasures. Again, if I can't sell them, I keep those for myself. And here's these. I mean, I don't. I haven't looked at these very closely. I don't think I'm gonna sell these because I can't tell you for sure if these have been worn or not. But these are like some undies that she put in here by uh, BB Intimates. So like sparklies on the front or whatever. But yeah, I don't think I'm gonna sell those. Okay, and then I'm gonna do all the clothes first and then I'll do the last thing that's the best stuff and then I'll show you just a few things I got from the thrift this week. So these are just a full bag of men's jeans that I found in the dumpster in the trash by my work. Um, I have some really nice condo apartment things going up brand new and I think these people may have just moved out. But these are just a pair of Levi's and they're like a rough, a much rougher material. So these are Levi's, Levi's I've never seen before. I don't know, I've never seen Levi's without the patch in the back, but these ones don't have the patch. 
but they do say Levi's there. They do have that in the pocket. And then, like one pocket's white, one pocket's green. So yeah, I don't know. I'll look them up and see, but they're different. I've never seen jeans like that before. And then we got a pair of U.S. Polo Assassin. Or not Assassin, whatever. They do have like a hole there. They've got like some standing down here. So I'll, of course I'll throw all of this in the wash before I sell it and see if that comes out. If it doesn't, then I won't sell it. Then we got a pair of label of graded goods, L-O-G-G L -O -G -G by H&M. Just a pair of pants. Again, a little bit. Actually, I didn't notice that before until I just put those in the light. So those will not be sold. See, my new room up here doesn't have a whole lot of really good light, so I didn't see that until just now. And then these are just a pair of Dockers. Of course, they're inside out. I'll put them in the right way and check to make sure they don't have any of that stuff on them. And then that's got a Rip in the booty. Here's a pair of American Eagle Outfitter jeans. I don't know if that's not stains, that's just fuzzies. But yeah, I mean the hems are a little, you know, whatever, but if I can sell them all and each get just three or four dollars profit, five dollars profit, whatever. So this here's another bag that I found and the trash is somewhat different. So I probably won't sell this shirt. It's just, eh, just a white Explorer office. So that's garbage. These are a pair of Levi's, but when I looked at these, the zipper's broke. I don't know if anybody would buy them with the zipper being broke, I don't know. So, but the rest of them look, you know, in decent condition. So we'll see, I may sell them without the zipper broke, I may not. Just, you know, list that they're broke. Oh, these are trash. Now, a lot of these I haven't, like this bag here, I have not looked through before I'm showing you guys. This is a pair of something, but yeah. Nope, that's all ripped. That's not good. That's not good. This is a pair of weatherproof vent, or not pair. This is a shirt weatherproof vintage. Just a flannel. As long as I don't see any, look through it better. I don't see any holes or nothing in it, and only some buttons. I'll be able to sell that for a few bucks. And then, last but not least, for the clothes is another labeled by Graded Goods H and M. Just a button up long sleeve shirt. So again, as long as all the buttons are there, there's no major stains or rips, so we get a few dollars out of that. All right, and then this one was the actual decent um, Facebook Marketplace pickup that I did. So this here, she just said she was given away like a little baggie of Smalls um, Harley Davidson. Stuff. So this is a Harley Davidson um, head wrap thingy, new with tags, and then a Harley Davidson girl scrunchie. I'll probably lap these two up and sell them together. And then this here is a little um, bell. It's called a guardian bell. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. Oh, probably not. That's like a Right there, there's like a chick on the front with a bathing suit or something, and then there's like flames in the background, and it just does that. And let's see, then there's a couple. Um, never mind the dog, be wary, owner biker patches. Then there is a Bahamas Harley Davidson pin. And then there is a hard hat angel pin. 
and I haven't looked at it up either to see if that's worth anything. I am in Utah, so we do have um, a lot of Mormons here. So this is an LDS um, biker patch. And then two Sturgis 2007 biker patches, which I might try lining these up together and selling these. And then if anybody has any idea what this is, please let me know, because I do not. So it's got this little thing to hook. So if I, it's got these buttons. And you just open it up, and then it's like that. So yeah, I have no idea what this is. So if any of you guys know, please comment and let me know what this is. I'm assuming it has to do with biker gear of some kind, but I don't know what it is. So that's everything that I got this week for free. Um, I have been um, upping my listings. I've been doing about three, three to four listings per night. Uh, a lot of the stuffed animals and plushes that I've gotten um, that I've shown you guys in the last few hauls. But none of that is sold. I, I am getting two to three sales a day. I had two today, two yesterday, none the day before, and then like six or seven over the weekend. So, I mean, not a ton. But, oh, this is one more thing I got for free. Found this little beauty in the dumpster. Today, somebody was just throwing away a toy. So, let's see. I don't know if you'll be able to see what she does from here. Her booty shakes. Okay, and her head wobbles. Oh, come on. I don't need to do more than that. Come on, girl. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what she does. Got her for free. Maybe you can sell her. Make 10 bucks. Okay, now on with what I actually paid for. So, I occasionally sell jewelry and watches and things. So, I found this at the thrift for. I can't see it, but for $2. And just bought it. It's like velvet, soft, two tier. So pick that up. And then I picked this big guy up. Now I haven't seen how big he is, but he's huge. As you can see, compared to my head, he's a big boy. And he's got a shirt that he came with that fits him, made for him. And then he's that long. But somebody cut off his tag. So looking him up on eBay, from what I can find, it almost looks like he's an Ikea shark. Is what I was seeing. So I'm thinking that's what he is. I paid $5 for him. And all the ones that I was seeing online that have sold in the last 90 days have sold for about $40 to $50. With shipping not included. So hopefully I can sell him for that. And then another Facebook Marketplace pickup that was not free. So I got four wax warmers that were uh, $4 a piece. I paid 15, 15 for all four. So we got that one. All of them are never used, not opened, not used. Uh, we got that one. And then this one's a different brand called Am Ambisense. So yeah, I think this one, I have, to, I have to look it up. I haven't opened it yet or looked it up, but it says it's a wickless, oh, it's a wickless candle. Now that this is one is not a wax warmer. She said they're all wax warmers, but that's obviously not. And then this is the reason why I bought the lot. This is brand new, never, never opened, still sealed, called Spotted, it's a Spotted Owl one. And the last two or three of these that have sold have sold for 50 to $55, not including shipping. So I should make all my money back on all four of those with just a spotted owl. So, yeah. Oh, and then one last thing is this tote. <laughs> Got the tote for free off the side of the road. Just say it was garbage day in the neighborhood and it was still sitting out there after the garbage had been taken. So I took it. So. That's everything I've got today. I will try to do um, another recap video next Friday and let you know if I found anything good throughout the week. And yeah, if there's anything else you guys would like to see, um, I will let you guys know if I start selling any of this stuff and making actually any profit. So yeah, 
So I'm upping my videos. I am upping what I buy. I'm trying to thrift every single day for 30 minutes on lunch at work to try to see if I can find anything, anything good, try to up my my sales. I have 200, I had 294 listings and I did like six sales over the weekend. I've done four or five this week already and I'm up to 305 listings now. So I am slowly, you know, raising the number of how many listings I have listed while still selling a few things. So that's my goal. So yeah, so see you guys next week or the weekend or whatever if I get sales weekend maybe I'll do a what sold on Monday we'll see it depends on if I've only got four or five sales I'm not going to do like a what sold video you know if I have like 10 maybe I will so we'll see I've had a few you know weekends where I've had eight to 15 sales but not very often because like I said I'm not really this is only my part-time my part-time gig so yeah so I'm not, I'm not good at ending the videos yet, so we'll see how that, if I come up with anything good. But so far, no. You, you got what you get for now. So I will see you guys all later, and have a great weekend.